air run power supply units and hooking them up to your components can actually be really scary, especially if your PSU cables don't have any text on the end of them saying where you should plug that particular cable into. But some people wonder whether you can mix PCI Express cables and CPU cables because on both ends they're often 8-pin cables. So the CPU one has 8 pins that you plug into your PSU and then into your motherboard and then the same is true of the PCI Express cables so some people actually wonder whether they're interchangeable. And this is made even more confusing because with Corsair for example on the PSU it actually says PCIe slash CPU which would suggest that actually you know those cables are interchangeable. But the short answer is no they're definitely not interchangeable do not mix them up. The longer answer though is no, they're definitely not interchangeable, do not mix them up. Okay, so that's exactly the same answer, but the reason for that, if I go into more detail, is that actually whilst they look the same, the pinout is different. The grounds and the lives are actually in different places on the 8-pin setups. So if you were somehow, and I'll talk about this in a minute, but if somehow you were able to skip some of the physical limitations and plug a CPU cable into your graphics card, you might actually be sending, you know, live voltage where the GPU is expecting grounds and vice versa, and that can actually blow the GPU. Same if you actually get like a PCI Express cable meant for your GPU, and you plug that into your CPU slot on the motherboard, very bad things can happen. They'll probably fry the motherboard or the CPU or both. So yeah, don't mix up the cables. But why are they, you know, linked on the PSU? And why do they look exactly the same? Well, firstly, with Corsair, for example, they want to simplify things on the PSU side. So even though it's different when plugging it into your, like your graphics card, on the PSU side, it is actually quite convenient for Corsair to supply a bunch of different cables, but then plug them into the same bit in the PSU. That is quite convenient. But what you will find is on the other end of the cable, it'll say CPU or PCIe. And that is a key thing that you should always look for before you plug it in anywhere because the actual, you know, the bit that says CPU, that should go into the motherboard. It might also say EPS as well, and, and that's the same, that's for the CPU. So that bit goes into the motherboard. And then the thing that says PCIe or GPU goes into your graphics card. And the reason earlier I said, you know, you might not be able to actually plug it in is because on the very end, there are little shapes like squares and triangles and things like that. And often you can't plug the graphics card one into the CPU one on the motherboard. It actually physically won't fit. But what some people have found is if they push hard enough and maybe, you know, the cable's a little bit defective and some of the shapes haven't been formed properly, is that you can actually get the wrong cable in that slot. So then you could, you know, accidentally plug the PCI Express cable into the motherboard one and then bad things will happen. So just always double check the end of the cable and actually certainly don't force, you know, a cable in. If it doesn't fit, then probably you're plugging it into the wrong thing. But if you've lost your PSU cables altogether, and that's why you've actually clicked on this video, is you're wondering, you know, can I use my PCI Express cables for the CPU or something? Don't do that, firstly. But secondly, what you should do instead is buy, you know, replacement cables. And in general, you shouldn't go on AliExpress and buy random cables from a random seller. That wouldn't be a good thing. Equally, if you've got like a NZXT PSU, you shouldn't buy Corsair cables and mix them. You shouldn't mix and match. But what you can do instead is hopefully go on the NZXT website and actually they often will sell replacement PSU cables and then buy them. But if that's not an option for your particular PSU, then instead what you can do is go with like Cable Mod who are fairly reputable and they sell you know loads of different cables. And then you can buy like a replacement CPU cable or PCI Express cable and then you make sure you use the correct cable. Hopefully this video helps you. If you've got any further questions, please drop me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching.